I want to say this. The criminal justice system in Kenya must made true, must remain true to constitutional values. We are seeing a situation where cases are being withdrawn in court, and in my view, it shows weaknesses in our institutions. There is no case that is taken by the police or by the prosecution to a court of law which should be withdrawn because of political connections. It is obvious, and I can tell this without fear or contradiction, that if the Deputy President Gachagua was not the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, his case would not have been withdrawn. It is being withdrawn because he is the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. That is an abuse of the criminal justice system. Because there are many Kenyans also who have cases before the courts of law, whose cases do not deserve to be in the courts of law. They cannot case, get their cases withdrawn because they are lesser beings. So the institutions of justice must may remain true and courts must examine properly all cases before those cases are withdrawn. Otherwise, our friends were talking about weaponization of the criminal justice system, but there is now an alternative process of using and abusing the criminal justice system. Let the courts be the determinant of whether a case is properly before the court instead of the director of public prosecutions. Because if he is saying that those cases should not have gone to court, then there has been an abuse. Not even with the police, because cases are taken to court by the director of public prosecution. And lastly, lastly, the UDA government are realizing that talking and governing are very different kind of calling. They are now making a lot of excuses. And some of them are also even contemplating increasing or removing the limitation of tenure in the office of the President of the Republic of Kenya. It's like saying that Orengo should be governor in Siaya for so many years. You know, like Utiende was in uh, Utende was in uh, Congo Brazzaville, where there's a character there who has been a, a president for 40 years. 40 years. He, he cannot even remember when he was sworn as president for the first time. We don't want a situation like that. Never, never in this republic. Limitation of tenure is a difficult, is a, an important constitutional instrument. But what we are trying to say the government operates under a constitution that should not be abused and the criminal justice system should not be abused. They should begin to deliver. Now, I am happy in a way because Raila Molodinga promised 6,000 shillings for the poor every month. But now the hustler people are telling us their money is not for free. And that money is supposed not to go to the hustlers, it's supposed to go to the middle income or uh, those who have got investments that can employ it in generational wealth. Because hustlers, according to Ruto now, he has changed his, changed his mind to establish that hustlers cannot generate wealth. Now he's saying what hustlers need most are uh, mobile phones, smartphones. But remember, the pa person promising your smartphone promised our kids <laughs> laptops. You know, laptops and a smartphone, they belong to the same scientific kind of, uh, you know, uh, instruments. And I can tell you a smartphone probably is more difficult to supply than a, a, a laptop.
especially the cheap one that they wanted to bring. So all this is politics. They should start governing. Azarengo is also starting to govern. I have not promised you anything that I cannot achieve. achieve. Under the Nyalare agenda, we are concentrating on water, and we are going to resolve those water problems.